How's it going today, guys? I figured I'd show you our uh, new tank room. I haven't had a chance to make a video. It's been pretty cold. But uh, let me see. I'll start with the milk tanks. So we actually have three milk tanks. There's tank one, two, and three. And right now tank three is full. Tank two is being filled. That's what the red hose is. The supply milk supply line is right here. Um, anyway, I gotta check real quick. To see, well, let's see. This one hasn't been turned on for calling. I don't know. It is. Anyway, um, let's start where the milk comes in from the parlor, which is right here. This is the filter assembly. There's a filter there. It filters the milk, and then it goes into our. Um, plate cooler they call it, heat exchanger, and it's got a two side, it actually does a water to milk and then a cooling to milk or glycol to milk they call it. And so if you feel this line right here, it's about 95 degrees and then coming out the other side, it's probably about 50 degrees, you can see that line right there, it comes over and then we have valving and we can deposit in each tank. This tank is being washed right now, but it runs along all three tanks and runs in each tank or whichever one you want to put the milk in. So when the milk is picked up and taken to be processed, we have to wash the tanks with a pretty abrasive cleaner and that is all done through this lower line where the discharge the milk is discharged to the truck or through this pump here called a transfer pump it uh, will either load a truck or we hook it up to the wash side of the tank and then this pipe here is hooked to a manifold that brings in the cold or hot usually a hot water when you're doing the detergent side of the wash so we're sure that the tank is clean and ready for when we fill this tank will be filled with milk tonight or start being milked into food tonight and these tanks, I don't want to forget to mention, these tanks do have refrigeration on them, which I just turned on. I turned on that tank, and it refrigerates the milk down to about 38 degrees. Yeah, see this one, I don't know if you can see it right there. I'll try to, this one's at 38 degrees. And this one I just turned on is at 43. So, that gives you an idea how cold the milk gets after it goes through the plate cooler. I'm trying to hold the camera up higher so you don't see looking up my nose so I don't got boogies hanging out or anything. So um, anyway that's kind of a overview of the tanks. I guess I could take you up and show you where the cooling units are here. Floor here, and you can kind of see the tank on the back side. We just left the clean room, and here's the cooling units. We got 10 of them, so just kind of give an idea what what they are. Here's the Anyway, um, just a quick little video. We still got some improvements to make here on this. So we're climbing a ladder. I'd like to put stairs in at some point. Anyway, I'm getting pretty 
excited the weather's supposed to warm up and at some point we'll be going to the field and I'll get some videos of that and I'm hoping to do some repairs to put on here in this short little video. What our tank room looks like. Appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up. That always helps. And uh, yeah, I'll sign off for this one. Thanks.